Good morning, everyone. <laughs> it is uh, Thursday, Thursday morning, and thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate it. Um, so I just got out of the shower. I'm in the bathroom still, but uh, just wanted to show you uh, how attached Pepsi is. So uh, yeah, let me put the camera on her. All right, so <laughs> Gypsy is in the bathroom with me. And while I'm in the shower, she actually uh, curls up in that little corner there, just like she is now. So all the while I'm in the shower, she's in here with me. So, yeah, she is definitely attached. So, yeah, just wanted to show you that. Okay, so, yeah, as you can see, Gypsy likes to stay in the bathroom with me. And while I'm in the shower, while I'm taking a shower, she's always sniffing at the door. So, <laughs> so, yeah. All right, so let's move on with our day. Not sure what I'm doing, but I know we need to eat, so stay tuned. All right, everyone, so I'm going to make some breakfast now. Um, I don't know if you can see, but I got the griddle out. You probably can't see it. It's right here. <laughs> um, you've seen it plenty of times before. So, yeah, I'm going to make some uh, hash browns, bacon, eggs, um kitties and uh, doggy it are chilling out right now uh, gypsy's actually laying down in the bathroom floor I think that's her cool spot I think she f likes to lay more so on the floor that doesn't have any carpet on it and it may maybe it's just cool for her so she's laying down in there right now blackie is under the recliner where blackie usually is and Prissy's sitting on the kitchen floor uh, whining for food like Prissy normally does, even though I just fed him. So, so yeah, I'm going to get this stuff going and uh, maybe chat a little bit. So, uh, like I said in yesterday's video, <clears throat> Uh, the workers have finished, and our house is insulated much better now. Our house did not have hardly any insulation in it whatsoever. So they got done yesterday, and last night I was washing dishes. Uh, we had leftover tacos. Well, Glenn had nachos. I had tacos because I wanted to use up the taco meat. So we just ate that last night. I was washing uh, supper dishes last night. And I was thinking to myself, I hope today, meaning, well, I was thinking, I hope tomorrow, meaning today, Thursday, is an uneventful day. Because we all just need to mellow out now. We just need to decompress, really. So, yeah, the, the, the fur babies are decompressing right now. I need to decompress right now <laughs> and for me decompressing all honestly is getting back to my routine in the kitchen where i spend a lot of my time wash whether it's washing dishes cooking whatever that's my normal routine and that's my decompression i'll feel like i'm back on track so today is a rainy gloomy day so that is good um Glenn is not feeling the greatest, so he's not going to go outside, um, but he's going to try to eat some breakfast. Uh, so I think we all just need today to be a non-eventful day, and that's what I am going to make it. So tonight for supper, I'm going to just make a casserole, and it's just going to have uh, ground beef, onions, potatoes, uh, beans and tomato soup for the juice and yeah I'm gonna just make that tonight and last night I made a cake um, I made the other half of the white cake mix uh, if you remember the video I only used uh, half of the box cake mix for uh, Glenn's Jell-O Cupcake birthday cake. 
And so I made the other half last night in the 8x8. Eight eight. And I made my chocolate frosting that I love. And we just had that, so we'll have that for tonight as well. And that'll be dessert, that'll be supper. So, yeah. I'm going to get some uh, pepper for this. It's all about decompression and relaxation today. Yes, that's what our goal is for today. All right. I don't know if you like this uh, point of view or not, um, but you've seen the griddle how many times before. And I always kind of feel funny when I'm talking, but you can't see me. Not that I really want to show my face, but, <laughs> um, but yeah, just thought I'd try a new uh, video angle today. So yeah, today's uh, it's cloudy. It rained overnight. Um, I was looking out the kitchen window earlier, out the out of the kitchen window, and uh, I saw a great blue heron in our backyard. We've never had that before. It was so cool. So yeah, um, earlier I went online uh, where we got Gypsy. Her previous name was Busy. They called her Busy. Um, so we changed it to Zip Gypsy, but uh, the rescue center uh, sent me an email where I can uh, look at her health records on Wagtopia.com, I think it is. And so I went there and printed out her medical records, and so I want to put together a folder of all her medical stuff. And then I went on to our local uh, vet and registered her or, you know, signed up for a, a first-time visit to establish her vet and to get a checkup. Um, so, so now, Gypsy's birthday, they have it stated as April 5th of 2022, which puts her at about five months old. Um, Glenn and I discussed it, and we want her, we, we don't know that that's her actual birthday, but that's just as close as they could come. But we want her birthday to be the day we adopted her. So that's to us is going to be her birthday. And that we'll celebrate that day with her. Um, so yeah. So with all this going on uh, with the housework, the adoption process, um, you know, just getting Gypsy used to the house and us and the kitties. I haven't had a whole lot of time to work on my website. Um, I've got a lot of stuff done already, but I got to put the products up. So once I get more products on, um, I'll make my website live. So yeah, just work, trying to work on a couple things, but I really haven't had a chance to work on them lately. Um, but that's okay. There's more important. And, uh, we honestly, or we actually also um, had a camping trip set up for next week, but we're going, we canceled that, or we rescheduled it. We didn't cancel, we rescheduled. Um, just because it's more important right now for Gypsy and the kitties to bond, and we don't want to interrupt that with Gypsy being away for almost a week or four days. So we don't want to interrupt that process. So we uh, and we're totally okay with uh, postponing the camping trip. Um, just more things. Uh, there's other things that are just more important to us right now. So I think sunflowers. <laughs> um, Going off another sketch, uh, topic here, I think sunflowers are about to bloom on the sunflowers. <laughs> and the zinnias are going nuts. There's so many zinnia flowers out there, it's beautiful. Okay. 
and we've been picking tomatoes a little bit at a time. Uh, I think what I discovered was for the tomatoes, um, as soon as we see they're starting to turn red, even though they're not bright red, as soon as we see them start to turn red, I will pick them and let them ripen in the kitchen because if we leave them to, if we don't pick them in time, then they split. Um, so that's what I'm going to do with the tomatoes now. So yeah, everything is starting to fall into place. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just finish up this breakfast. Um, you've seen it before, bacon, eggs, hash browns, showed it plenty of times before. Um, so we will be back during the day. All right, everyone. So we have a watermelon, piece of watermelon here. Um, our generous neighbor um, gave us a piece of their watermelon that they grew in their garden. And I just took a chunk there. It actually tastes pretty good. So I'm actually just going to cut it in half to fit it <laughs> because, you know, we have a small refrigerator. And I'm just going to cut it in half. Actually, I might just cut it all off of there and so I can throw the peelings away and fit it in the refrigerator a little better so all right i'm gonna do that and it's almost time to get supper started so stay tuned all right everyone so it is time to get supper going so i'm just making uh i guess you can call it a ground beef casserole we just call it casserole uh but it's made of ground beef so i've already uh this is one pound of ground beef i've already kind of just tore it into pieces so I'm just going to put it in there, just kind of spread it out. Usually we make a lot more of this, but we just don't eat as much of it anymore. Um, and that goes for any food. So, all right, so I'm going to throw some onions in there. And then I'm going to throw some, I'm going to season, well, I'm going to throw the potatoes in there. I just went ahead and uh, these, this is like four, five or six small potatoes. That's all we had. And I just cut them into rings. So I'm just going to throw them in there. And if you hear that in the background, that's uh, Gypsy whining. Uh, <laughs> he act she actually whines when she sees uh, when she gets close to Blackie, not because she she wants to get close to him, and he's still a little standoffish. He'll he'll come, ar you know, he's coming around, but he's still a little standoffish, and she starts whining. She did the exact same thing to Prissy, and now. She she doesn't whine at Prissy now she whines at black whines at Blackie so it's just little whimpers but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, salt and pepper this she just got done uh, having fun tearing up my sock <laughs> so yeah she actually hasn't chewed on anything that's the first thing she hasn't really tore it up she just uh, sees it on the floor so she thinks it's something to play with. All right, so now I'm going to put some chili beans in there. Just going to spread that around a little bit. What? That's prissy now. I swear it's like having kids in the house. <laughs> But our kind of kids. <laughs> All right, and now I'm gonna throw tomato soup on top of it, and that's gonna be it. I'm gonna throw it in the oven. 
Uh, and this recipe came from Glenn's side of the family again. His sister used to make this. His mom, I think his mom made it. So now I'm just gonna spread it around. Hey, Blackie. Yeah. <laughs> Blackie uh, on his hinds trying to see what I'm doing up here. It's been a really cute uh, <laughs> time to watch these guys get to know each other. All right, and that's it. Uh, for now, I'm just going to leave the one can of tomato soup in there, and then I'll check it in an hour and see if it needs more. But I'm going to cover this with tin foil, throw it in the oven, which I have preheated to 350, and I'll check it in an hour. It says it takes two, but we have a lot, or whenever the potatoes are ready. So, all right, so stay tuned. All right, everyone, so it's been about an hour and a half. I did check it at the hour time frame and the potatoes were still a little hard Whew. it's got enough juice I only had to put that one can of uh, tomato soup and that's all it is it's done hour and a half at 350 so again, it was just one pound of ground beef, uh, onion finely chopped, five small potatoes, and one can of tomato soup. And the ground beef uh, created some of the juice itself, so it's probably why I didn't have to put much more in there. So that's it. Uh, we're going to eat supper now, and then we're going to take Gypsy on a walk. So, okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video right here. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate your support. And with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.